Hi friends, this is Mohammad Jibran and welcome to our Visual Studio tutorials in which we'll be learning how to create the desktop applications. So in the previous video, we have uh, downloaded and uh, installed the Visual Studio 2010 and uh, hope uh, uh, you have al also downloaded it and uh, installed it and uh, uh, whenever you start this uh, software you will be uh, seeing this page so to start a new project we'll go and uh, select a new project and uh, we'll select the windows forms application make sure you have the visual c sharp selected and in the windows form application give a name to your uh, application let me say in demo and uh, uh, basically we will be starting everything with the console application but uh, we will be focusing on more desktop applications so we'll start from the windows forms application the console applications are more basic type of applications which are like the dos with the black screen you know and the forms application is what you see uh, this visual studio is also a form example of a forms application so we are going to create something like this so select it and hit ok and when in it's uh, it loads so this is what we get <coughs> after it loads so this is our form with which we have to work ok you can resize it if you want um, right now I want an application in which if the user presses a button I need to show him a dialog box or a message box which says the hello world so for that I need to add a button to my form so for that I need some uh, tools or a tool which says the button so for that in my view I will go down and I will select the toolbox and uh, here is a long list of tools which you can use in the forms application but for this demonstration we need the button only so drag and drop it to the form wherever you want it and uh, I want its text to be changed I don't want this button one to be seen by the user I want the user to see uh, something else like uh, press me so what I did I just uh, selected this button and in the properties bar I have changed the text if you don't see this uh, properties again go to your view and uh, select the properties windows or just right click the element hit properties and uh, you can see this pane over here and uh, now whenever I want the I want to uh, whenever the user presses this uh, clicks this button I want him uh, I want my program to show him a message box saying hello world so for that double click on this button and it will take you to a form.cs file which means C sharp and uh, in that uh, button click we are going to add some code and what's that code very simple we are going to say message box dot show and uh, two quotation marks close the parenthesis and just semicolon now here whatever you want to show to the user you need to write it I want to show hello world fine so now our code is ready uh, we don't have to write any more code so we need to check it like if it's working or not so how do we do it so to check if your code is working or not you need to run your program so to run a program in the visual studios you need to press f5 or you need to as uh, press this green button over here so let me click it and uh, our application should pop up over here and now if I uh, click this button I get a dialog box saying hello world so this is what we wanted so hit ok to close it and then close it to go back to our application now suppose if I don't want an, uh, uh, a small dialog box to open up I just want my form to show that hello world so for that we can use another tool like a label okay so drag and drop again label over here again remove the labels text and then in the button click 
in place of this message dot message box dot show i will say label one dot text equals double quotes and uh, semicolon i will say hello world okay now uh will again run it and when this application loads and we click this button we see the hello world written on the form itself so this is how you create a simple hello world application in the uh, microsoft visual studios in the upcoming videos we'll be seeing some of the more complex stuff but for this for the beginning videos just do or the co or just copy the code as if i'm just like just the way i'm typing because we'll be learning about the code later in the later on videos so thanks for watching the video and hope you liked it